Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And also, I'd like to say thank you to Alexandria and the XPRIM team for inviting me here today for this great honor to be in front of you. My presentation today is going to be twofold. I will be giving you a slight overview of PCS and what we do, and also with regard to claims technology. I'm not going to keep you much longer because I know many of you are awaiting lunch, so I'll try to move swiftly through my presentation. Uh, I always try to start off with our mission statement at PCS. Our mission is threefold. First of all, we are a service entity in which we service the insurance industry. Secondly, we serve the global insurance industry as known by who we serve. We currently serve customers in the United States, Canada, Turkey, as well as our partnership and friends here in Romania. Just a little background with regard to PCS and what we do. PCS was formed 66 years ago at the behest of the insurance industry within the United States to aggregate and collect catastrophe data on natural and man-made disasters. And as exhibited by the number of bullets on the screen here, a plethora of organizations and individuals reap the benefit of the massive data that PCS collects nationally and internationally in which actuaries, underwriters, and many governmental organizations use our data to ascertain exactly what's going on within their various markets. And with, review, with regard to our process for determining catastrophes, typically we reach out to the insurance industry directly within each country that we provide business within to receive catastrophe data directly after a catastrophe event and aggregate it for a preliminary and subsequent resurveys every 15 days after the initial designation and every 60 days after the preliminary estimate to provide a wide range of data for that particular event. One of the first things that I did when I joined PCS about three years ago is to determine how we could better serve the insurance industry and our, and our customers. We were a bit behind times at that time with regard to being mobile, so I took my team and we developed a PCS mobile app, which our customers use readily to access our data on the go, which provides them with that information they need to provide their, their customers with the information they need as well. Moving forward, in the near future, we're looking at developing a PCS industry exposure database. What that's going to entail, it will provide expansive use of PCS estimate and risk transfer transactions, refining our methodology when entering new countries, and also increasing the confidence of PCS catastrophe estimates for retrocession risk transfer. Most recently, as of May 27th of 2015, with the uh, assistance of our friends with the Istanbul Underwriting Center, we founded PCS Turkey, in which we're also providing catastrophe risk data aggregation for the Turkish insurance market. And as exhibited here, beyond Turkey, we also have a strategic business development plan, which includes continued discussions with Alexandru and his team with regard to our potential uh, operations here in Romania to serve your country, as well as other CEE countries as well moving forward. Onward to claims technology. On the screen here, we have what is called a peril map, which many claims departments within the United States use to identify locations that were affected by catastrophes and also utilize to deploy their insurance personnel. By overlaying peril maps 
over the areas that were affected by catastrophes. This enables swift deployment of claims resources and utilizing the best resources that are necessary with the skill set necessary to swiftly close claims and reduce cycle time, which entails, which also at that point would increase customer service and value. With regard to technology, many things are changing. The old way of adjusting claims is becoming obsolete with sending personnel out into the field. As we're seeing now, in many cases, customers are able to diagram damages within their homes using mobile phone applications, sending information directly to their insurers through their mobile phones with the diagrams and with photographs, which entails swifter resolution of the claim, quicker payment to the customers, and increased customer service. With regard to the Internet of Things, Garner, a recent study, study indicated that roughly about 6 billion devices will be connected to the Internet by the end of 2016. Exponentially by 2020, that number of items connected to the inter Internet will increase to approximately 21 billion items. So with that being said, there's a massive amount of data that's available today that is going to increase exponentially with the years to come that companies can utilize to further refine their processes. Paul Carkey yesterday mentioned the term disruptive innovation, disruptive technologies. Well, he said that correctly with regard to the massive amounts of new technologies that are being developed as we're speaking and being implemented within the claims environment, which again are changing the old ways in which we've done business. Currently, we have various sets of customers, some customers that are more inclined to speak face-to-face, voice-to-voice with their agent, with their broker, with their claims representative, However, we also have a newer generation, the millennials, who tend to be more inclined to do business on the go, mobily, using their phones, electronic, not using so much of the face-to-face, voice-to-voice forms of contact. And it's incumbent upon us to identify the channels of choice that each of our customer types tend to utilize. As mentioned earlier today, with autonomous vehicles, these are becoming more relevant and prevalent throughout today's society. Many companies are attempting to develop products to insure for autonomous vehicles within the United States. There are actually many programs ongoing right now in which these autonomous vehicles are currently on the road, being tested, and is forecasted within the next five years that a significant increase in autonomous vehicles will be utilized within the United States market and globally as well. And overall, the impact of this technology with autonomous vehicles on underwriting, the forecast indicates with the advent and utilization of these autonomous vehicles, a three to six percent decrease in accident frequency globally as these autonomous vehicles become more prevalent on the road. So times are changing with regard to the way that, we do, that we've done business in the past and the way that we're doing business now. Many of you may be familiar with Uber or Lyft, new car sharing services, ride sharing services, and Airbnb, which is a service for providing lodging these new digital mobile types of programs are disrupting the old ways of business with regard to taxis being over, overrun by Uber and Lyft customers and hotel occupancy rates being affected by the advent of Airbnb. These new services being utilized by millennials are changing the way that we're doing business and we need to be able to adapt to these new millennials in the way that they want to handle business. 
Could this happen to the insurance business? Well, it already is happening. The future is today. Some of you may be familiar with lemons. Lemons are sour. The way that the insurance business is viewed in the U.S. at times is not favorable. There's a new company called Lemonade, which is formed by CEOs of AIG and others, with financial bank backing, rather, from some significant entities globally. This is an online type of service, providing a simplified insurance program, simplified insurance policy at a more uh, feasible rate for the millennials, and in time this is being forecast as potentially a, uh, another disruptor within the insurance market which could cause some significant challenges for the established businesses. In closing, basically when it comes to insurance, insurance is a promise, it's a contract between the insurer and the insured, and it's incumbent upon us and the claims community to be there to serve our customers in their greatest time of need, which is when they file that claim, and utilizing today's technology and being familiar with the way that millennials, who are now becoming the most prevalent customers of all of ours, want to conduct business, it's incumbent upon us to understand those millennials and be, be able to adapt to their needs. Thank you.